That mechanism actually has a fancy name in prenatal psychology. It's called limbic attractor. Limbic attractor is how we attract people, situations, how we run in circles, uh, creating similar <coughs> patterns in our life. If you just think right now about what kind of patterns are you running? What is the prevalent pep talk you're giving yourself? That would be the programming that learned conditioning that you absorbed automatically that's what limbic imprint is it's our automatic function of the nervous system to non-cognitively absorb and memorize all of our sensations during the whole formative period, from the moment of conception, through birth and the first few years of life. This is um, actually the most precise definition of limbic imprint. That, that there is at this point. that automatic function of our nervous system to absorb and memorize all of our experiences during our formative period. And the thing is that that limbic brain doesn't have logic. It doesn't have rational kind of explanation. Because rational explanations live in cortex which is, from the perspective of limbic brain, is on the other continent. Mm -hmm. It's like a completely different world. The cortex and the brain, limbic brain, they, they have, they're supposed to be aligned and work together in harmony. They're there both, all of them are there for good reason. We need all of them. And they're supposed to give be the, the perfect tools that we need to live our life functionally um, successfully and enjoyably but for that exact reason that we were shocked very early in life we don't have a reference point what it's like what is it supposed to feel like when we're all harmonized and aligned how are we supposed to know what it's supposed to feel like when our cortex is working as a team with limbic and reptilian? And when they're not, that's where it comes from when we are, um, you know, wanting to be an actress and we're flipping hamburgers somewhere. Or we want this guy and we're married to this one. <laughs> That's a popular one. <laughs> or if we know that we shouldn't reach for that chocolate or for that bottle of whiskey and we're still doing it. That's the divorce of the rational cortex and the habit of the for comfort zone. See? Whatever our basic settings are, which is our imprint, is what our nervous system translates as good for you, as comfort, as I survived thanks to that. While it should be, I survived in spite of this, but it happened at the time when we did not have uh, ability to censor, to evaluate to judge the experience. We're just automatically absorbing everything, making it our own.